everybody, it's Debbie. Welcome to your home, your happy place. I'm doing my Easter extravaganza. Let's decorate this final week before Easter. So here I am in the kitchen. We already have a video that showed you my uh, stovetop hood and one of the islands. So I am going to get started on this really long area here. And you know, I usually chop it up into sections. So actually, I think we're going to start way down there by the sink today. By the way, if you're new, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you enjoy it, would you please consider subscribing? Just press that red button and press the notify button and it's free and you will get notified when I have a new video. And this week, it might be quite a few. All right. I've already put this together, so I'm not going to undo it, although maybe I could have done it better. So we saw this they, uh, this picture. I can't remember now where I got it. Oh, I, yeah, I did. I got this at Michael's this year. I love it. I love, love, love it. It's so beautiful. Love it. Um, and then I ordered these tulips off of Amazon this year, and um, because I've gone back to... I guess it was Walmart and they were out and I ended up getting a lot more tulips on the Amazon and these are the ones that are called um, Real Touch I think it is and then this uh, gar well it's not garland I guess these were little stems I saw these at Hobby Lobby so I don't know if I bought them at Hobby Lobby or if I bought them at uh, Michael's but I just decided to mix it all together. And um, these are, by the way, as you can see here, I started like drooping some of these because tulips naturally do that. And so these are so easy to bend. I'm really happy. So this is my happy little Easter <laughs> bouquet that I'm gonna put in right here. All right, what else? Okay. I can't remember where the other tray is. I found nesting trays. So I think these were maybe at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Um, so I have another one that's bigger and I've already shown it somewhere. I just right now don't know where it's at. So this one's kind of small. And so I'm gonna use this to hold some of my sweet little things. A couple of towels. These are adorable. I'm going to go ahead and pop those in there. Okay. Uh, you can oftentimes find the Michael Design Works soaps at TJ Maxx. Um, at TJ Maxx, they're very reasonable. I don't know how reasonable they are on Amazon, but I just loved this set. And so I did go ahead and order it. Um, because I like I like the individual holders, and I like having the hand lotion, especially when you're doing dishes. It's just nice to be able to follow up. And of course, these have bunnies on them, so they are perfect for Easter or spring. And they're pretty. I mean, it just is a cute one. And then I um, have already used pink ones of these somewhere else in the house. And I believe when I started uh, decorating my table before the Easter tablescape, I might have had these on that table. I'm not sure. I think I did. So, or this one. I'm only going to put one here. So, let's see. Let me figure this out here. Now, I don't usually do two florals that close to each other, but I'm really using this for the height and just the little, uh, the poof it is. I don't think it takes anything away from this one.
Okay, on this side of the sink, I am just gonna put in, who, who knows where this came from? I don't know. I've had it for years, it's metal. And I just think she's adorable and sweet. She's carrying a little basket of eggs and she's all dressed in a little apron. And then practical stuff I love to uh, use decorative for function. So um, for my, that's probably upside down, for my drying mat, I bought this. I believe I got it as a two pack. Um, you can get just about any design. Again, this is from Amazon. So super, uh, you know, these are foam backed and they just are great for drying. So I'm gonna set that right there, which you can kind of see, and then I'll show you my rug. So we had um, been in the laundry room and I showed you a, uh, the other, so this came as a two pack, also on Amazon, and you could get a lot of different designs. I wanted something a little muted on my floor. So um, that is uh, the mate to the one that I have in my laundry room, and this is the perfect size to go in front of a washer and dryer, but I really like to have something um, that I can stand on in front of my sink. So here we are, that's it. I love the color in this. And you can see it is a gloomy, gloomy day outside, which was why my lighting is so bad. But the dog wants in bloom. Yay. Next, I'm going to do my little coffee area. Um, it'll be a very similar to the way it was last time with just a couple little Easter touches. I believe this was... Um, I want to say it was from Walmart this year. I got it early on. I love it. It's so pretty. It might have been Michael's. But I'm going to prop that up. And look. I'm going to use this really pretty tray. I've been using this one for the past couple times I've done my kitchen decor. Just popping in some of the things I put on all the time, my frother and my coffee syrups. My cute little spoons. <laughs> and I had um, some of these caramel spoons. So this is a pop of spring, it, it's a creamer that I happen to have, so I thought that was kind of cute with the yellow. Okay, these I picked up at TJ Maxx. I just, you know, at first I just saw the pink polka dot cups, and I just thought they were adorable. Then when I saw the little Easter bunny and scalloped piece, and of course it comes with all the rest, plus lids, I just thought, you know what? Whether it's tea or coffee, I've got a to-go cup and I really, or I can give it to somebody else. And it's also something that's safe outside. So I just thought these were so cute. Of course, we're going in with my French press. Picking up on the pink polka dot. These are pink eggs and a couple of little rabbits here with a little, there's just a very small hint of pink in there. Just gonna kind of add that to the bunch. I'm going to put my husband's cereal back. <laughs> and when I was unpacking some of my Easter decor, I found these. They're very reminiscent of what I used at fall. I had uh, flowers that were sunflowers, and I had no idea I had these. These are, isn't that cute? Um, these are by the company that does my calendars lang 
Um, so I'm sure if they still make them, you can probably find them on Lang.com, but I got mine at TJ Maxx. And not recently, but, you know, I think they have stuff like this every year. I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but it was too cute not to put out. I bought two of them. Now I see that they have my, honestly, my Walmart just got their Easter decor in. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. So they have these in different positions, but I already bought this. So I will just add that here. <clears throat> and that little area is done. last well there's probably two more parts sort of here um i already had this I, i'll hold it up but i don't think you can still read it it's very faint and um it's going to be backwards but it just says you will always be my forever i wanted it in here i loved the um pink rose detail and then the little light pink in it i just thought i just thought it was so pretty plus i love the gold touch Oh, I have this guy who is going to flank it on this side. <laughs> and I have another one of my mother's. My mother had some gorgeous crystal. It's very heavy. Um, so I am going to use this. And then it's just a sand and fog island or orchid. Island orchid candle. My grandkids have been dying to get into this. Little by little, they've been sneaking them out. And I said, you guys have to wait till I've done filming so that I still have something in here. But if you can see, they are little bitty pink rabbits. And I got these, I got these at TJ Maxx this year. So here we go. And this is so cute. I bought this. Actually, I think I got it for free because they gave me a bonus um, at that little boutique I was at. Isn't that cute? I bought it as a gift for somebody and um, they weren't able to um, meet us. So, and I wouldn't, I had no way of getting it to them. So it's mine <laughs> um, by default, but it's great. You know, I love to have a little place when you're take, you know, you've got an idea or you need something from the store, whatever. I like to have paper ready. I'm a paper and pen girl versus um, digital. I like, I like paper. <laughs> this is pale pink. Uh, it's metal. It's made for plates and utensils. Um, so I am putting in some of the pretty, you've seen these in my hauls. Some of the pretty little things that I've picked up. And I don't know if I have any pink utensils, but that's what's going in here, some little pink utensils. So I'm gonna pop that over here. Now let's get the bunnies straight up. And then I do have one of these that has some stuff in it. These are training treats. So when my little doggies are very good and they sit or they go outside and come back when I call them, they get a little treat. Okay, this is done. I'll do a real quick overview for you.
So let's do this island real quick. Here's what I changed. I did not change out the plates, but I believe I changed out the chargers. If I didn't change out the chargers, I know I changed out the placemats. I just wanted a little something different for Easter. And then I have the cutest little uh, napkin rings, but I did not put the napkins in there because I want to see the pretty plates and the napkins I still have over here. So I haven't changed this part at all. However, <laughs> I did add, and I don't know if this was out before or not, so it might not have been, but I think it was. But I had an extra Easter egg, so I, I saw that nest in there, so I tossed that in there, and then I had a pick. So I tossed that in there too. So all of these, or these two things can come out and uh, if I choose after Easter, and this will still just be a little spring bouquet. And then here's what I did over here. I found this great tear tray. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's marble. I got this at TJ Maxx this year. And this is just a, a little stem that I had laying around. And of course, one of those little blocks, that is the most economical Easter decor I bought this year because I don't remember how many, I believe it was 12, but I have uh, just dispersed these around the house in cute little spots and I just love it. Um, put my one of my little teapots here. And these, you guys, now I'll say, I was a little disappointed on the camera. It, it, you can kind of see it, but these were Easter cups and they were very pale compared to, see, I can't even see what that one says. Um, very pale. So, you know, if you're all into what they say on there, like April showers and the Easter bunny and happy Easter, and I can't read the blue one right now. Let's see, oh, hello spring. Um, you might be disappointed, but they are cute and I love the color. I love the colorfulness, and then we've been washing them. I thought I'd have to take the ribbons off. We've been washing them with the ribbons on, and they just dry, and so I'm kind of leaving them on there because I like it. So what have I been doing with these? I'm going to tell you. We had um, Bible study here one night, and I filled these with um, Chex Party Mix. So that was really great because when you do stuff like that, you don't want people putting their hands to their mouth and back into you know, a mix of something. Same thing with potato chips or anything like that. It's just nice to have individuals. So that worked out really great. Over here, I have this most simplest nothing. You know, I just love these um, towels that I got at TJ Maxx and just another little tray. You know, it's got a lot of pretty little detail in it. And so I put that out. And this actually is a cake stand. One, uh, I have an aunt and cousin that gave this and it has a serving piece with it to me uh, years ago for Christmas. And I just think it's, I love the color and I love how pretty it is. A little bit of henna bamboo. I've got that other flower over here. And then if you recall in my, on my uh, hood, I have one, uh, the mate to this little guy um, there. And then I added two wooden candlesticks and I believe these are battery yeah battery operated candles so that is everything else was the same from before so that is there and that island is done okay I've got a few things laying out here don't know what I'm doing with them or not I was playing up here I don't have this done um and I don't like to work on the ladder where, you know, I'm filming. So I'm going to go up there and play and just do a show and tell. But what you see up there right now is um, that little Easter bunny cake. And then I think he was from Michael's. I don't know if it was this year or not. And then Cottontail Market, I already had that, that serving tray. So I'm going to play with some other items up there and I'll do a show and tell. It's 
It's always hard to film up there, but I did some close-ups photographs for you while I was on the ladder. So that's how it turned out. Um, again, I am just like, I didn't have a vision, so I'm just kind of tossing up some things, but I think it matches a lot of the decor in here. And, you know, it's, there's so much white as you, you know, look around. Um, this is a nice break from the rest of it. So, and We'll redo the entire kitchen on the Easter home tour coming up this Friday. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I had the best time, as I always do with you, um, getting my kitchen, my kitchen, I love my kitchen. I probably love it every season because I just love to decorate. So once I get something decorated, I'm just like, woo. -hoo. And um, I guess on the, on the tour, I will show you some of the other, you know, we just did that big spot up above me, but I have three small ones and I decorated them. They're kind of fun. Um, and I don't think I've shown them to you yet, but uh, we'll, and I won't be talking about it. So should I just show them to you? Yeah, I'll show them to you right now. Okay, well for Christmas, my daughter got me, those are actually, punch bowls, flamingo punch bowls. And then over here are, there's a pitcher, flamingo pitcher. And why did I get two? Um, I believe she had to buy it in packs of two and she didn't know anybody else who would want them. <laughs> but um, I had some serving pieces that go with these plates here that we all love. And so I have used those up there. And I've also got those um, in some of the cubbies. So I just thought I'd show you that because it's kind of, it's not Easter, it's just fun. All right, if you would please give me a like, if you can comment, I would love to talk with you and share me, follow me, all the links are below for all those kind of things. And when in doubt, just write in your home, your happy place, and that'll be me. So. Uh, I will see you, I think, maybe tomorrow, and I'm not really sure where we're going to go, but um, I'll figure that out, and it'll just be more Easter. Till then, you guys, Mwah! love you. <laughs>